Hey buddies, I am nervous and excited for today's video. I am celebrating National Walk to Work Day by walking the six miles to work. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm going to bring you with me every literal step of the way. Well, not every, I'm not gonna show you every step, that's crazy, but I'm gonna bring you with me, show you the process, and we're gonna talk about lots of things and we may even have some guests along the way. We'll see. So let's do it. Let's walk to work. This snail is going to try to <laughs> snail trail her way across the city of Seattle today. And I am ready to go. Let's do it. We're walking. This is gonna be a long walk. This whole thing would be less crazy if Seattle didn't have so many hills, but that's part of the adventure. Yes, I'm walking backwards. See that I'm going up a hill. I'm counting snail mail things as I walk, and I'm up to one mail truck. I brought some postcards with me to read to you while we walk. This one, with the fun snail stuff on it, is from Betsy, and it says Sarah. Since you are the one I think of every now, every time I see a snail, you get more mail from me, <laughs> lol. I'm not sure why there's a tapeworm and sea urchin on the same card, same phylum maybe. I've seen a tapeworm in real life, eek. It wasn't mine, thank God, love Betsy. <laughs> We're going downhill now. <laughs> this one, which is the opposite of today in Seattle, is from Akasha and it says, hello, hello. What a delight to pe peek at your blog and see you so delighted by those dinosaur stickers. I only recently came to the idea of mail art as an actual thing. Ever since I was a teen, I always considered decorating the envelope as a given. It was, and obviously still is, half the pleasure of letter writing. Yet I never really paused to think of it as art. Thanks for the pause. I could use more of those. Find a quiet moment of your own today, Akasha. And I wanna show you, she sent me a dinosaur stamp to go along with the dinosaur stickers. I love it. Thank you both for writing to me. This video would be less fun if I get hit by a car. <laughs> Got it all over me. First stop and sit. Not too bad, just a lot of hills. I'm enjoying myself. I'm about to hit my first mailbox and I brought a pile of postcards to mail along the way. I'm gonna try to put one piece of snail mail in each box I come to, so. Stay tuned for that. I feel like these colorless ones are the ghosts of mailbox past. And while we're being completely ridiculous, I feel like these green ones are mailboxes that joined the army. So we're out of the neighborhood and headed to downtown. It's gonna get loud. But more mailboxes, yay! I'm short. I'll cut you out. Hey girl, hey. Got some mail for you. You're welcome. I found Mr. Snail Mail Superstar. Should we run? Yeah, let's go. Are you enjoying this spring day? Yeah. Have you ever walked to work? Yes. Tell them about it. <laughs> I walked from where you just came from to where you are right now. Yes! In the snow though. Uh, I've also done it in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this to make you look really smart. Yeah, I always do. Okay. I wrote a bunch of postcards this morning. While walking. 
No, like before I left. And I've been dropping one in every box that I come to, like the Johnny Appleseed of snail mail. Well, thank you for meeting me on my walk. That was a good interview. Yeah. Just a little walk and talk, you know. Mm -hmm. How does she crash the car? Snail fun. Oh, you got your snail milk oh, yeah, sticker shirt on? I plan. I love it. Yeah. Alright. Bye. 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 I was expecting it to be pretty. Yes, it is very pretty. This is Lara. Hi. She is an Occasional Constellation & Co. shopkeeper. A snail milk superstar in her own right. Oh. Your card box is to be <laughs> envied by <laughs> all. I need to reorganize it. Hey! Today could be the day. Do you want to tell me about how your pen pal oh. ended up in your wedding? <laughs> oh no, I ended up in her wedding. Oh, in her yeah. wedding. So, let's see. When I was in sixth grade, so, how old was that? Twelve? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. There was this uh, project called the Great American Mail Race, I think. And our teacher was like, okay, we're going to do this to learn like geography of the U.S. So we were each side of the state. I got Alabama. And we were to pick a town. I picked Evergreen, which is like, oh, that's perfect. Like, <laughs> very Washington. Yeah. I basically like, closed my eyes and pointed. I love it. Um, and I just wrote, like, I wrote a letter introducing myself, and I addressed it to, uh, it's like, postmaster, give this to any like fifth or sixth grade girl in this town. And this girl named Kim got it and wrote back to me. And we started writing, and we kept writing until, let's see. Well, I still didn't touch on Facebook and stuff, but we don't forget to do that. that. <laughs> but yeah, when I was about 20, she's like, hey, I'm getting married. Do you want to be in my wedding? And I was like, sure, I'll fly to Alabama and uh, be in the wedding of somebody that I have never met face to face. <laughs> <laughs> Only written letters to. And um, so I did and like flew to Alabama and got my dress fitting there. So awesome. <laughs> met that it was picked up at the airport by Kim and her fiance. And that's the first time we met. And so awesome. we've stayed in touch. She has like three kids now, I think. And then I've got this guy. And yeah. It's pretty cool. That's my like epic snail mail story. I love it. The yeah. power of snail mail. It's awesome. So on a day like today, it's not too hard to answer this question, but what's something that you really love about living in Seattle? Oh, jeez. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I, I think... I don't know if this is where it is, but like the water. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, there's so much of it and I feel so at peace when I hear it. Totally. Speaking of, this is so pretty. It's one of my favorite places. Oh yeah. That's so unique to Seattle. Like we're so used to seeing them, but this is like the first time we were here. I was like, what? They're landing on the lake? And I feel like the Johnny Appleseed of snail mail. <laughs> I'm like, one for you, one for you. Because I heard a rumor that mailboxes have to get at least 20 pieces of mail a day or they get rid of them. I don't know that that's a real thing, but that's what I heard. Well, no, so now, like, exactly, exactly, mail exactly. Mail I feel like I have to be like, and for you, and for <laughs> you. <laughs> Doing my part today. Kind of like, you're the Oprah of snail mail. Oh my gosh. You got a card, and you got a card. <laughs> miles were not not so bad. There's a lot of hills at the beginning part, but it's fun going through downtown and lots and lots of mailboxes. And now I have caffeine, lots of flat land and water to look at, which I'm enjoying. So hooray, it's all going well. I'm glad I decided to do this and I'm really glad that it ended up being a sunny day. I cannot complain. It's beautiful weather and a fun thing to do. Yay! These are mailboxes for if you live on a boat. People on boats get mail too. I almost missed that one. It was hiding. But I got you. I sent you a postcard. Tired. I am tired. The caffeinated. 
great combo. Still enjoying myself. <laughs> I've got two more people that I'm gonna try to meet up with on my journey. It has been kind of a crazy, <laughs> silly thing to try to <laughs> coordinate having people meet me along the way, but it's been really fun knowing that there's friendly faces that I'll see as I walk. I finally found mail truck number two. Hey girl, head. Okay, I'm officially to the exercise -y part of exercise. I'm sweaty. I'm hot, I'm tired, and I'm running out of water. I'm meeting the next person very soon. I'm excited. Perfect timing! Hello! Hi. How are you? Good! What time did you leave? 10.30. Now Sarah dies. Yeah, seriously. How's the walk been? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's like the perfect day for it. I know, I'm so glad you got such nice weather today. So, the questions I'm asking everybody is, what is something that you love about living in Seattle? Oh my gosh, well, it's hard not to love Seattle. <laughs> I know, especially on a day like today. Like today out. Um, honestly, I love so much about living in Seattle. Um, I'd never been here before I moved here um, with my husband. He said, he was like, oh, you'll love it. You belong on the West Coast. I'm from coming from the East Coast. So I was like, really? Okay. Um, and we moved to Ballard six and a half years ago, and now I have no desire to <laughs> leave the Pacific Northwest. Um, it sucks you in. <laughs> it really does. Um, I love the weather. I love um, the culture, um, the diversity of both people, cultures, places. Um, as a wedding photographer in Virginia, there was only like vineyard weddings, which were <laughs> yes. beautiful. But then I moved here and I was like, oh, there's like urban weddings and mountain weddings and so many places to see. Um, I love the outdoors. So being able to go hiking, yes. all of these amazing places so close. Um, skiing also, <laughs> like it's right there. So yeah, it's amazing. all of the things. I know, I feel like asking that question today is like, I it's know, like right? so <laughs> easy to be like, well, everything about Seattle is everything amazing. Everything is amazing. The sun is shining. <laughs> and tell our snail mail folks here, what, how did you start sending snail mail? Oh my gosh. Actually, this is a great story because I first got interested in photography because my dad would send me postcards from wherever Whoa. he was deployed. I would collect them all, I would string them all together um, on the string and hang them in my bedroom when I was in like when I was like six years old. And I had this moment where I was on a trip with my mom in New York City in eighth grade. And I was like, I need to get a postcard to add to my collection. I know it's not the same as snail mail, but the premise <laughs> oh, is there. Totally. Um, and then I was, that's when I decided I want to take the pictures myself. <laughs> that's awesome. I so, didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. That's, that's the best. I love it. I no, really but snail mail is amazing. My family has always been like, thank you note writers. Yeah. Um, I just spent a week in Florida with my grandmother and sent her a thank you note for having us. And it, like, she called me and said Aww. thank you for the thank you note. Like, I it's love really... It. Amazing. That's so sweet. Yeah. Well, this is the best. As you know, if you've watched for a while, Meredith worked for me for a long time and set off to do her multiple super awesome fun businesses. So we're like super proud of her. And it's always so fun to get to catch up again and hang out. I know. I think like, I just want to go hang out with Sarah. This is perfect. <laughs> I, know. I was like, hey, everybody, it's Friday and it's sunny. You want to go outside? And everyone's like, uh huh. Yes. Yes, yeah. we do. Also, sounders are a pretty great oh, thing about yes. Seattle. So. Yes. <laughs> Especially when we do nothing but win. Yes. Oh my gosh, the season's been amazing I know, it's so, been so far. So fun. Oh my gosh, I haven't told anybody this because it's like a nerdy thing that I do. But last season, when we couldn't score goals to save our life, I sent a thank you card to every salmon who scored a goal. Oh my gosh. You're amazing. And I wasn't going to do it this season, but my sister was like, you have to send a card to Jordan Morris. He's doing a great job. Yeah. I'm so happy so, to have him back. Exactly. So I sent him a little like, Congratulations on the back thank you card for his first two goals. I love it. That's amazing. And I know the boys get them because I've sent a few like patches and like other things. And in random photos, Beth has found like the things I send them stuck up in the locker room. Yes! I'm that's like, hooray! Amazing. That's so awesome. If you're wondering it. if you can send snail mail to professional soccer players, you, you sure can. can.
Well, my gimbal is crooked and mad at me. My phone is dying. My legs are tired. I am sweaty and gross, but I have made it. I am walking up on the fisherman's terminal now, and I'm so proud of myself for making it all the way here. It may seem like a small thing, but I've never walked short before, and I'm just really excited. This was so fun. It was fun to see friends and to be in the sunshine and just to like get to know my city better for getting to walk and like see everything between home and here. So I had a super fun time. I hope that you had a fun time watching this journey. Let's uh, let's finish her out, shall we? I'm gonna watch backwards. I see Michelle. Hello. We made it. I'm so <laughs> sweaty. Oh my gosh. That last like half an hour was rough. I was like, okay, that's enough. I've had enough luck. So I've been asking everybody, what is something you love about living in Seattle? Mm. Walkability. Yeah, which is a very is fitting a for this fitting. video. Yeah, I know. I think the last time I had that was when I lived abroad. So yeah, it's not a normal US thing that I'm used to. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And have you always set snail mail? Oh, since I was little, yeah, actually. I met Penn Pal when I was seven. Cool. Actually, but I moved. I moved. I barely did move for me as a kid. I took up with me a letter. Well, we made it. Let's go back to the shop so I can sit down. <laughs> Let's go.